Hi guys, so today is 19th of November. Gosh, it's been a weird, weird year. Um, I don't think I've uploaded a video in a maybe a couple of months. Um, but it's, it's just been insane this year. Um, I have done a lot of updates this year on my YouTube because that was one of my big plans um, for this year because I became an author. Um, so I have been trying to give as many updates as I can of this process because it has been a long process. Um, it's taken over a year to even get there. Um, and now I feel like I'm kind of stuck in a bit of a, like a no man's land with my books. Um, I say books because I have my second book coming out. Um, but I think I probably need some marketing advice. Um, so if anyone has any good tips on that sort of thing, um, because I've tried TikTok, I've tried Facebook, I've tried my website, I've got my website for my freelance editing, um, I've, I've tried loads of different things and it's not really getting me anywhere, if I'm honest. I'm hoping that things might get a bit better next year with, um, results of my first book. Um... It, it's okay it, it went it was off to a really good start um my first one still princess um like because i had a load of family friends i got on the mexico bestseller list for somehow um i got 600 kindle kindle downloads in one day um when i did like a free prime free promotion so it has been really really good it's just been really slow um since then in the last few months since publishing um, so any advice that anyone has would be definitely useful and appreciated. Um, but yeah, I, I want to, I think my main goal for next year, um, is to get out to some author events because that is something that I haven't yet done and I'd love to get out there and show it off. <laughs> and, um, when my second book, um, which I'm in the process of publishing now, also comes out I would like to obviously do the same thing with that one so I have lots of um, goals for 2023 I thought I did a video for 2022 but apparently I didn't um, I've just had a look on my channel and I yeah that's okay I'll try and do more YouTube stuff on here this year as well that'd be a big goal um, but I definitely want to get to some author events in person so I can you know have a stall like have all the little merchandise sort of stuff that you can sell relating to your books. Um, my mum actually got me this lovely tote bag. It's got loads of stuff in it, so I can't really um, fully show it off. This is my tote bag for Steel Princess. It is the only one I have. It's not like something I'm selling. But um, I absolutely love it and I share it. I use it all the time. Um, but I'm hoping to get a second one for my second book. So my second book is a Snow White retelling. Um, it's called The Girl Behind the Glass. I've had my cover design for it this year. I've also had my editing, uh, developmental editing done. And I have been working on my feedback from that. Um, and I've loved every second of that. <laughs> Although I have a lot of stuff to work on. So I've got like... A whole page and pages um i've already rewritten did a big rewrite before i sent it to her and now i have big plans for how to to work on those edits and the, the feedback that she's given me but um i'm still not really happy with the first chapter until at least until i did some editing some writing on it this morning um my problem with it is i just want it to be very succinct and i want it to be like because i've got some um, I think it's good stuff happening at the start to like get you into what the story is about, what the world's about and things like that. But it's just, um, I just, yeah, I don't want it to be too much telling or too much showing, things like that. Um, so my, I'm de just trying to work on that right now. And then the following chapters obviously that come after it. Um, and then I have, a, I do have like a whole notebook full of plans for, the rest of the book because I went through and I read it back and I after my editor's feedback um and I made notes on each chapter um each and every chapter so I will be working on that over the next few months um because I want to get it out there by 
March. I don't know if that's going to happen, but because I said the exact same thing about Steel Princess, and Steel Princess didn't end up going out there until July. Um, so again, the girl behind the glass, it may not come out as quickly as I like, but we will try. Um, so yeah. Um, but I am happy with the book, and I don't think it's absolutely massive changes that I need to make. It's just, it just takes time to, um, actually, of course, go through all of those different rewrites, developmental, and then some more proofreads and things like that after that, um, to get it ready for at least pre-order. And, um, and then I will have two books that will be coming out. And, um, so that is my big goal for, one of my big goals for next year. Um, moving is another one. We tried to get a flat. A bigger flat uh, last year and it didn't quite work out because of my jobs I have had a uh, got a new job which was one of the big goals after all of that didn't work out like I was going to get try and get something more uh, more salary higher salary which I have done and I've got into a job that I really really love um, and feel like I can eventually get a career in um, that is in teaching or oh, um, OTA at the moment, um, and yes, yeah, so then I will, we're trying to get a two bed flat, so a bigger flat, um, so that, hopefully that works, and then what my other plans are to write Steel Princess's sequel called Songbird Air, um, I have big plans for that, I have basically have rewritten, or re have written a fair bit of it, because a lot of the plot that comes, that was taken out of this one is going to go into that book but going to be reshaped and reworked um i'm not going to get that one out there this next year i don't think but i will try to write it as much as i can purely because of money self-publishing as people i'm sure people know is very very expensive as a thing and um yeah it's it's not easy to like so I think my, my main focus this year is to get The Girl Behind the Glass out there and then to write Songbird Air. And then I also have ideas for a previous novel that I absolutely loved working on and it's still nagging at me in the back of my head um, to get it rewritten and reshaped into something else because it was a retelling of like Medusa and things. But I loved a lot of the sec. I, d I shouldn't have added in the secondary world building that I should that I did um so I, I have an idea of how that, what that book is going to be and I'm really proud of a lot of the plot that comes out of that book so I'm still going to use a lot of that plot but I'm going to reshape it into a different slightly different book so it won't be a retelling of those things but it will be something else but it will still be in the same sort of world um so that one's been nagging at me and then the girl behind the glass i also thought of ideas for um a sequel for that one um which i will not title at the moment because just probably all because it's too soon um although i do have title in mind um so i'll probably write those two or try to get those written for the next year as well as publishing the girl behind the glass um so my, my main focus this year will be writing, I think. Um, and just trying to do more things with Steel Princess and eventually the girl behind the glass. You know, the books I already have out, have there in my hands. But um, the girl behind the glass is a Snow White retelling. And I also have a Sleeping Beauty retelling, which is set in a very similar world. Um, that I wrote years ago, but I, again, really enjoyed the story. So I'm going to reshape that one eventually. And then it's going to be set in the same world. Some of the characters that are in that I've actually brought into the girl behind the glass as other characters in the same world so that they can sort of like interlink. So that Snow White retelling will be a series and then there'll be a Sleeping Beauty re uh, series, retelling series. And then there'll eventually be, I've, I've also got set up for Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella, uh, Rapunzel, um, and maybe the little mermaid, but that's all what's ready at the moment in my head, um, because that is a lot of books, <laughs> a lot of writing, a lot of series. Um, so yeah, that are my main focus. 
and then I also have another book which I also wrote years ago. So I'm basically just going to reshape all the books that I've already written um, with some ideas for some other ones and just try and get them <laughs> out there eventually. So writing is my big goal basically this year. Um, and just trying to get involved in more events I think. Um, save up some money, get a bigger flat and um, work more on marketing sort of stuff, my website, my blog, stuff like that. Um, and just see how it goes really, but and read more as well. I actually managed to smash my Goodreads challenge for the first time ever. Um, so I was really proud of that. Don't know how I managed it, but I did. So <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, lots and lots of stuff to come. And then maybe some more personal goals as well, but they don't necessarily need to be spoken of unless of course anything changes. Um, I also became an auntie this year as well, so that was a big, big surprise. I definitely wasn't expecting that one. I don't think any of us were expecting that one. Um, because my sister, um, we didn't even know she was with anyone or anything. But then she told us she was nearly eight months pregnant. So that was a big surprise, but um, a very nice surprise. So I now have a lovely little nephew called Isaac. Um, so I'd like to see him more. And yeah, just more family time. More time with my partner and his boys more time to concentrate on work and my freelancing, find more clients, work with original clients. In December, so next month, my editing will have been hap I would have been a freelance editor for three years, which is insane to say. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's mainly all of my goals for this year. Um, this year has been insane, but next year, I, I hope I can get some more of my goals smashed completed out of the park um we can only see how it goes really um yeah thanks guys for watching i know this video has been a bit long-winded but <laughs> a lot has happened and a lot will hopefully hopefully more to come so thank you for watching as always